<clears throat> All right. So this is going to be an interesting new attempt at something. This uh, is probably the first video this channel's put out in about six years or something. Uh, I'm just bored. I'm trapped at home at the moment. A lot of stuff going on with the viral outbreak. And um, I have So let's give some context. I'm running a terrible setup here. I am remote playing because my TV crapped out and then recording that from a PlayStation that's like a packed Hong Kong PlayStation. Uh, I shouldn't probably talk about that. Um, it's fine, it's fine. Um, but the thing is, um, I haven't, like, this is a terrible setup. It relies on, like, it's got gonna have huge latency issues. It's gonna be fun. So, um, yeah, there's a bit of lag there. So, like, um, also, it's been about two years since I played a fighting game. Uh, so, I used to play fighting games a lot, actually. Um, I used to play, I mean, this is just so people get where I'm at. I used to play Street Fighter 4 a lot. I used to play a little, I played a little Street Fighter 5, and I played quite a lot of Tekken 7, but no, I was always, like, really casual. I used to have a stick. I used to play Ultimate Marvel online or like with my friends at home. Um, really scrubbed here. Like, I'm not very good. I've played Street Fighter 2 maybe twice in university with a guy who like won tournaments with Zongief, like local Scottish tournaments. And I obviously got wrecked all the time. And I know at that time I played Street Fighter Cross Tekken. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, aside from that, a couple of Mortal Kombat games and stuff like that. That's basically all my experience playing fighting games. It's been a very long time since I picked up a controller. I downloaded this like two days ago. I played it to see that it worked and I got absolutely wrecked. I used to play with a stick, like I said, I'm using a pad. I'm using remote play, which is very choppy because my internet gets throttled a lot because I'm not supposed to be doing this in this country that I am in. And um, we're just going to see how bad it gets as I basically attempt to relearn Street Fighters, various Street Fighters. I've only played, I, oh, I used to play a bit of Third Strike way back in the day. I used to love Dudley. Absolutely adore playing Dudley, but like, I fucking suck. Like, I just get wrecked by everybody. We're going to try and start to learn how to play the fighting games without getting beaten over the head by the AI. Even the AI. I'm not going to be able to play online right now. Let's just see that. And if this goes well, I'll put up some more videos. I was thinking of getting back into Tekken 7 as well, but that's not this video. This video is for your anniversary collection. We're going to see how bad it gets. Ooh, look at that loading. Yes, that theme is in fact a VIP theme I got from having like the Japanese special edition version of Devil May Cry. I wanted the hero's theme, but they just gave me the um, heroine's theme. It's got a really nice sound to it. It's got nice sound effects. It's got like the, you could hear it. I hope you can hear it. Maybe the setup doesn't work. We'll see. Troubleshoot later, but it has the... Um, it has like the menu confirm sounds from the Devil May Cry games. It has a low key version of Devil Trigger on it. It's really nicely put together. So while I'm not a huge fan of the color scheme of pink and stuff, I'm gonna like save my toxic masculinity for another day. I'm sure I can survive it just to hear that fucking sick low key version of Devil Trigger. If you've never heard it, go into the game of DMC5, it's played on some of the menus in like the like archives and stuff, it's fucking awesome. Anyway, this isn't about DMC5 either, we may do a bloody palace run, if I feel like I can be bothered to show how bad I am at that game. Right. <coughs> this offline, should I do some training or is that going to be really fucking boring for people? Uh, well what's going to, let's see. We'll see how bad it goes. 
if it's completely unwatchable, I'll just trim it. And um, we'll just... So I actually only ever played Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, is that correct? Whatever that. It has a lot of adject adjectives after a while. I played the one that was the HD Remix, which was before Ultra 2 came out, but had all of the nice artwork, the really fancy, like, hardline artwork. But forget the artist's name, it's fucking awesome. Um, I played it about five times on my Xbox 360 arcade, uh, like, you know, the live arcade shit that they used to do. Um, I was bad. I couldn't work out how to do anything. I beat the game on easy mode for the first time using only DJ and normals because I didn't understand how a Street Fighter button input used to do because I was an old school Tekken fan. And I was like, wait, there's motions? I don't understand. Because you know a lot of Tekken is forward and some face buttons or backward and like a single direction. And I was never really a pro character guy at this point. I've never played Alpha but I picked it up and had a little look around. It's got a really cool art style. I don't know what any of the isms mean, so I'm gonna have to read about that at some point. Used to play Third Strike. Let's just say I suck. I suck at all of these, but <clears throat> we're not gonna play this first Street Fighter, because I've seen gameplay of that, and yeah. We're gonna try Super Turbo. We're gonna cry. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I have to like skip it. I'm just gonna assume that you guys have all seen that before because it's like, if not, this is. Uh, oh shit, who am I gonna play as actually? I used to play it like, I used to like playing Cigar, but I actually played it recently and I fucking suck. So we'll just play until I get wrecked, which will be stage one because I didn't change the difficulty. Just walking into things and eating flat. But they do so much damage in it. Oh fuck. And it's slower than I remember. Like the response. Yeah, oh. You lose. I lose. You'll be hearing that a lot. Oh, oh fucking hell, I'm not even blocking that. What is wrong with you? Oh, oh. <laughs> Just eating raw normals. I punched her. It's oh, this this hurts me because I used to play, you know? I can't even do a basic chart, you can Oh. Oh yeah, I did it. Oh, oh, oh we got jump ins. Oh yeah! Oh, fuck. I was gonna try and do my super, but that would've been... I lose. Oh. But his teeth are fine. We'll try one more time, and then we'll change the game. Just so that it's, you know, the variety of where I'm losing changes, so that my viewers don't get bored of seeing the same stage. <laughs> oh what the oh that should Oh I wanna I wanna rest on that. Oh fuck. She's getting even more angry. <laughs> How dare I come back? Oh before she was being nice. Apparently. You lose. I lose. Oh. I prefer green cigar for that. <laughs> oh, what color shorts do you? Let's face it, I'm still gonna get wrecked. Oh. How did she see that coming out of this game? Oh yeah, we're gonna play this cheap shit now. Yeah, cheap shit. Yeah, fine. Cheap shit. Oh, oh, the jump in. <laughs> I lose. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. <clears throat> I must enjoy getting beat. 
Yeah, this is just what's going on. Okay, so uh, options. Oh, so that was now someone someone in the comments as if anyone's gonna comment on this video. Um, if someone wants to comment and tell me how the game difficulty works and this and how bad I am, is one the easiest and eight the hardest? Because I was actually finding that I kind of understood the game more and was getting less beat when I was on five, which is like a preset, I think, five? Or was it three? And um, I went, okay, that must be pretty hard actually if it's like, only that close from eight, because I went from one is easiest, eight is hardest. Is it that way or is one hardest and eight easiest? I mean, there's an easy way to find out, but like it's gonna be equally unfun. So the default, the default is four. So I thought, well, four seems to be medium and eight would be hard, right? But how come when I'm on one, I felt like I was getting wrecked more than when I was on four? You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm almost tempted to try it again, but we'll do that later. Game difficulty three. So this is one to eight as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assume one is piss easy and eight is like I'm gonna kill you and find you find you wherever you live and follow you around the globe murdering you. I, I'm surprised they give you the ability to change the amount of damage you do and the speed at which the game runs, because surely that means you could Oh it's, yeah, one, two, three, ah okay. I was like, oh, does that mean you can just play on some weird turbo function where everything's running at way too fast, like that Mortal Kombat modifier on Test Your Luck? No, you can't. Or maybe you can. So we'll do free. Alpha free. <coughs> and yeah, so... Yeah, cool. Now, this has no bearing on my choices here because they, they have almost nearly different movesets, like Charlie has different moveset from here and then he did in five, obviously. Um, but um, I used to kind of play Adon quite a lot in four, which says a lot about who I am as a person. Oh, it just, it just shows that, that was fine, okay. The ism is where it stands. I used to play Adon uh, on four, I used to play Jury, uh, I used to play Dudley a little bit on 4, but like really I used to prefer playing Dudley in uh, Third Strike. Um, I'm gonna see if this, if they have my ass to me again, it's just a sign that I'm terrible. Oh wow. Oh, I did it. Uh, he has a similar moveset to what he had. He has the same special. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that came out. Ref. Oh, you swine. <laughs> I just sat there staring at him like, what the fuck do I do? Help me. Yeah, Jagger 2. Yeah, that's easier. That's easier when I tried it on level 3, so it is easier, it's just Super Turbo is just ass to face with the damage output. Yeah. Oh well. Eat a dick, Charlie. How can he hurt me if he's already dead? <laughs> that told him, Adon's not important enough to have a character arc, so he can never die. Basically, just scrub cigar. That's basic. Oh, I'm being having my ass beaten by talking trash. Punch, punch. I punched you. Oh well, apparently that wasn't enough. I can't pull out supers. I'm terrible. <laughs> she was ready for my bullshit. So I lost the stage one level one Charlie. That was a thing that happened that we all just saw. Oh. So this is going to be, if you haven't worked this out, this is going to be a long series of like me actually trying to get better at this game. 
and I'm going to be like showing my progress and how quickly it is to get back into it, hopefully, if everything goes well. Um, if you stop for several years and how the old muscle memory comes back, but you got to remember, I was shit <laughs> like, when, I, when I stopped. That's why I kind of just walked away from it for, oh, that was fun, but I was never good. You know, if I was actually good, I would be feeling a little more like I need to come back. Oh, wow, that pose. Look at his face. What's wrong with Adon? <laughs> He's got a chin the size of my entire face. Look at that gun, man. There's a reason a lot of people don't play Adon. I hope the sound's coming out for this, because otherwise this is going to be a lot of just me dryly talking uh, over like silent gameplay, so if that's the case I'm going to have to work out how to... I was going to say, you didn't get fucking even. So this is really just the prologue, if this works out to me gradually improving both my video skills and um, my commentary, but also actually not eating fucking basic Dan supers. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't too bad for like a punish. You keep throwing that roar out, I shouldn't be having a problem. Oh, my, my penis. No! No, I need my face. Stop doing that. Oh, well, that was stupid. Yeah, it's just for a raw, like, make sure you can out there. Whatever. Rising Jaguar. Rising Jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> you just literally went, yeah. So, um, yeah, the idea is that I'll gradually, this is, like, only the second time I've ever played Alpha, so... Apologies for choosing baby mode. <laughs> Apologies for not knowing shit. I actually am completely new to Alpha. Oh wow, what happened to Blanca's face in this? Did everyone just get an Ugo mob? <laughs> no offense to the artist. What's with the melons? Hello Blanca, I forgot you did that. That's how long it's been, I've forgotten that Blanca shocks people. And that's like kind of his thing along with the rolling. Felt like I lost control over a bit and he just stood there, okay. That might be latency issues, that might just be my controller failing, that might just be me failing. Oh, I reckon he read the input on that, how would you know? Oh boy. Do they read inputs on baby mode? Uh, what? What? <laughs> that was his super and free? The super was throwing fruit at one point? I'm sorry, when was that a thing? Why haven't they brought that back? Oh wow. Oh, that's his throw. Okay. That was. I was trying to pull out an EX like a chump. Okay, like I'm really not paying attention to what, what I'm supposed to be doing, I'm just trying to button check a lot, so. Oh fuck man, this guy's pinging all over the place, uh, let's pay attention to what he's doing. Hey. How did that not hit him? I'm just gonna do my usual spammy shit. <laughs> This is why no one plays with me. Yeah! I can save this. I can save this. Oh no! I can't save this. I ate raw. It's bullshit. Woo woo woo. Are you okay? Buster Wolf? Um, we're gonna keep going. Two, two things on everything, right? To revise and then I move on just for the sake of brevity and yeah. And I like 
finding it hard to talk and speak, talk and speak, you know, talk and suck at the same time. I love characters that jump to the side of the screen, that's probably the biggest reason I picked up uh, it on, and that because I love Muay Thai. I used to, I actually was like for about two to three years, uh, on and off, uh, taking Muay Thai lessons all over the world, Hong Kong, um, China, uh, like mainland China. Uh, I did go to Thailand, but I didn't really get around to actually, I was too busy eating all the tasty food and stuff and seeing elephants and shit and temples and just seeing Thailand is a fascinating place. But yeah, I also, in the UK, was doing a lot of Muay Thai and then up until recently I was actually starting Jiu Jitsu, but I signed, oh that was not the program. No! I want to get a throw on you, but it's not the that was supposed to be that. KO. Did I win? Aidon looks less ugly in this than he did in 4, and he didn't look great in 4, but... He still looks pretty bad. That chin! Anyway, yeah, I was always a big fan of the martial art Muay Thai, so while the games aren't exactly representative, because guess what, learning a martial art, you can't fire fireballs out of your hands. Uh, it's like, it kind of got me interested, and Jury got me interested in Taekwondo, so I actually went for lessons, and kind of just went, I'm going to try this shit, you know? Yeah, it's almost like a plan map. <laughs> um, yeah, I just decided at some point, these characters are cool, I will learn them, they're like, oh shit. Why is Ryu so small? Oh, because it's alpha. Or maybe the sprite is just wrong. It's not, it's not wrong. Die Hard's gonna be like, oh my god, you're saying alpha? I, I don't fucking know, man. I'm a scrub. Let me scrub. Looks a hell of a lot better than his alpha costume in five, let me tell you. Well, I just ate a raw fireball, like a chump, so I'm too busy flapping around like a spaz. There we go. I can beat babies. Muscly babies. What is he doing? <laughs> Looks like he's having a seizure. He's remembering the ghosts of all the Muay Thai he killed. I'm a redhead. How can I even be Thai? <laughs> yeah, let's do it first. I did it. When we celebrate Spanish Bros. Yeah. I'm, you notice that I'm actually like, this might say something about the level of difficulty that the game went through, it's like it dropped over the years, but like I'm finding it much easier to play this, and when I went through on third strike I actually got pretty far. Like, um, wow, this guy's brutal. You never really read that about Adon until you see him speak, he's just like, when he's t like talking in the game, he's just like, he, he, jagger, jagger. Then you read his flavor text and he's like a brutal asshole. <laughs> you know, you're just like, oh, well, he's not exactly friendly. How is this the rival battle? Shut up. <laughs> I'm balanced again. <laughs> So we're basically talking about two people who are like, we're not the cool guy, let's fight. <laughs> we're not the main character. Oh, that hurt. Me in my soul. Oh, I'm doing the input scoop fast, that's okay. Oh, I'm just bad. I'm just bad. Yeah! You'll never hear me complaining about other players doing scrub cheap shit, because it's like, I'm too bad, and I, I'm like, okay, like, it's probably just I'm bad at the game. Like, I'm too busy focused on how bad I am. 
Ow. I did it again. I think he fall for the same thing multiple times. Yes! The punch! Shut up, Ken. Stop spinning. Stop Tatsumaki-ing. <laughs> Shut up. Let's party. thing about Aidon, he has quite a good set of tools for anti-airing people and just pinging around the screen and fucking people up like that. He moves around a lot, which means you can like use those moves to avoid a lot of stuff and he's very agile. That's why I kind of enjoy him, because it gives me like... Oh wait, you're overrated. You claim that you're KOF, but you're not SNK. I'll teach you that Muay Thai is truly invincible. So... That's the thing, Muay Thai is actually genuinely really good for your health, it's really good fun to actually learn. It's a fascinating martial art and virtually everyone who's been near Muay Thai will say this is one of the best striking martial arts you can learn if you actually want to be good at fighting. It's not one of those ones where it's like it leaves you with loads of openings for stuff. But like, I mean, I'm talking about the real sport here, not this weird energy projection, everyone's got a weird haircut animation. <laughs> you know, like, um, it doesn't mean all Muay Thai uh, Street Fighter characters are just auto better than every other character. Because also there's like, you know, this other shit. Like, every martial art has its, like, benefits and if anyone says to you oh yeah like because this has been invalidated by being proven in MMA not to be effective that's kind of bullshit in some extent wait what you can just do that that's cool. oh is he a boss he might be a boss in this game uh yeah like so long as you can take a martial art you love and you can make it combat effective and you just you just master it for years and years and years. Like, I mean, look at Bruce Lee. He took essentially one of the most uh, philosophical and spiritual based set of martial arts, Chinese Kung Fu, and basically made it useful in a kind of situation where those things aren't very combat effective. Like, those martial arts, they're not really very combat effective because they're not designed to be. They're more about relaxing you and like Tai Chi is very much like that. It's more about like movement. It can be used but it's not very effective. It will beat somebody who doesn't know what the fuck they're doing at all. But like, you know, realistically it's not going to beat out a Jiu Jitsu master. Or a Muay Thai master. But you know, like, you got to ask yourself if you're going to learn a martial art. Are you going to be a master? Sorry, I'm talking too much basic shit now. This guy has gone nuts after I beat him once. He's just like angry. That's so in Vega's character though. You beat me once? I'm pissed. Oh, and the fact that like, that's a pretty good like, a pretty good move, his basic uh, special kick. I don't even know what was happening there, dude. So that was two, so I'm gonna stop. Oh wow, that is such a like, that is a quote. <laughs> so, um, like I was saying about martial arts, um, people are quite quick to say, oh yeah, what's the point in learning, say, like this martial art over that martial art? Because in MMA and UFC style fighting matches, it's been proven ineffective. But it's like, you've got to think about I like what you're going to be doing that martial art for, right? Are you just doing it to have fun and to work out and stuff? <laughs> then you should probably just enjoy the martial art. Do you really think you're going to be going for the big leagues straight away, even if, you know, if you got into it, there's no point, you know, like, if you became really buff and got really top fighting condition in, say, Taekwondo, and then decided, hey man, 
okay, Taekwondo doesn't seem to be effective at higher levels, I will learn Muay Thai. You probably will learn it. Because they're like, a lot of kickboxing style martial arts are somewhat similar. They have a similar moveset. You're, take, you're often just chopping and changing two or three moves. Like, you know, the differences are quite minute. At the end of the day, if you know how to do most of that stuff, you can enter these things and understand most of what's going on. But you've got to ask yourself, are you really going to be going into a, uh, like, if you're like, I don't know, 12 years old and you're doing karate and someone goes, oh, well, that's not a good jiu-jitsu, oh yeah, I saw Conor McGregor, no, no, no. It's like, at the end of the day, you're not going to be going into a fight with that guy, are you? And like, the kind of guys that you probably are fighting are kids in your playground or something, or like some guy who's being a dick to you or something, and like, realistically, don't even... Like, that's a whole different kettle of fish. That's just don't go around looking for fights. <laughs> like, um, uh, I'm gonna stop talking about bullshit now. We're gonna do third strike. I did want to say though, the biggest brag in terms of fighting games that I ever had was I used to live in Hong Kong, and they still have all of those uh, uh, Super Street Fighter Four machines cabinets in most of their arcades, and they still have big underground functioning arcades of a fuck ton of like Tekken and like um, Street Fighter machines. A lot of the time the old stuff isn't there, you have to look out for it, there's a few super turbo machines, barely any functioning third strike machines in Hong Kong anymore, and uh, no alpha machines, that's why I've never played it. And uh, I used to play um, that quite a lot, like after work I would just go to my local arcade and just play, and I can't speak Cantonese, and these Cantonese guys would come up to me and they would just sit down next to me and be like, yeah, you're right, and put some quarters in. They can't speak a fucking word to me, and I can't speak a word to them either. And we're having really great games, like really great sets, but I did lose quite a lot of them, and I felt like they got frustrated that I was there sometimes when I was having a bad run, where they were like, oh, look at this scrub-like white guy, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, fucking outsider and all of this shit. Anyway, I'm going to finish this story soon. Anyway, there was, a, there was a situation where this one guy really thought he had me. He was like a Blanca main or something really weird like that. And I was playing Adon, so I can't talk. And uh, he gave me a round when we both got to about quarter health. He just took his hands off the stickers that I'm going to let him have this mercy round. And it came down to final round. So he's basically trying to make it to final round hype, you know, where it's like both of us are like, you, you know, that kind of thing. I wreck him in the final thing. And he got so upset that he got up and he left and didn't come back. Like, he got up and exited the arcade and was basically saying to the Cantonese, fuck this, and walked out. And I was like, he thought he had me and gave me a mercy round because he thought, oh, this outsider doesn't know Street Fighter like I do. I've been playing it for years. And I managed to beat him. And, like, that happened once or twice. I think it happened once when I was playing Akuma against a Ken player, and once when I was playing Dudley against a Ken player. Because Ken is very popular in the competitive Street Fighter scene in most games, because he's quite good tier normally. And you get used to blocking fierce Shoryukens in Hong Kong, trust me. Not in the real, not in the real world, but in the arcades. And, like... Used to be is such great vibes in Hong Kong for this shit, man. Because no smoking signs everywhere, everyone's smoking, they're all just playing, they're like, just like, yeah, fucking, yeah, 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 we'll just see if I can beat you on this, you fucking outsider. And you're like, um, fighting them, and they're like sitting there and looking at like, you, like, wait, this guy actually knows, he's like, he knows a little bit, and I mean a very small amount. I think I only won one match the whole time as jury, but like uh, I won the majority I think as Dudley or Adon, so that's what kind of drew me to those characters the most, because they're just... Anyway, talking about that later as I load this game up. The reason I got really into this, uh, into certain characters is, remember, I don't really have many Street Fighter friends. Uh, I was always surrounded by Tekken guys, because I'm British, and in Britain, Tekken is, like, king. And then there's the generation above me that are, like, about five to ten years older than me, who are like, no man, Street Fighter 2 is the big thing. In Britain, it kind of went Street Fighter 2, then Alpha and 3 didn't make as big of an impact, 
with a lot of my friends who are older than me. And then, like, my generation were, like, Tekken. Tekken Tag Tournament, Tekken 3, and then Tekken Dark Resurrection. We don't talk about 4. No one talks about 4. Forget it ever happened. I was disappointed. I was disappointed when I got... Um, I do like Alex as well. I used to play Alex. I'm shit at playing Alex. So we're just going to try... I normally try and get red and black Dudley. I always think it's triangle. I used to use Rolling Thunder a lot. It's kind of like a difficult one to use effectively and is like corkscrew blow is just a bit of better utility. Oh. Oh shit, this is on a harder difficulty, isn't it? Prepare to get wrecked. It might be. I had the uh, one on the PS3, the one that's like everyone says is really good, the online version of this. So I kind of sad I lost my PS3. Oh shit, I can't remember anything. Oh, I'm being tormented. Now I might play this a little while longer because I have. Wait, what? I was doing really good off screen the other day and I was like, oh wow, I'm gonna play some third strike and no one will watch the video. But like, um. Uh, now I'm just. I can't remember what I was doing. I'm still in my Adon brain. Wait. Oh, that was a bit shallow. Oh, I just lost control there. Uh, my controller turned off. Johns, Johns. <laughs> Literally, the light turned off, and I was like, "Stop me!" So, um, yeah, there was also a few times uh, I played in arcades. Oh shit! I just stopped talking a second. Oh, come on. There's the... yeah, there we go. Well, I don't like stretchy limb characters. I'm just gonna throw that out. I doubt I'm the only person that like... What am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh... Losing my fucking necro. Yeah, he wasn't gonna fall for that. So he was gonna fall for that! They never expect the uppercut straight afterwards. Or do they? I don't know. Or do I? <laughs> just think it was the same as Paul. <laughs> Don't kill me! Where? Killed by Necro. <laughs> Who is that girl with Necro? What was her name? So we'll try it again, and then I'm gonna have a little break. And we're gonna do some training after that. To just try and get. Let's try Chun Li, but I get wrecked by Chun Li in this game. Isn't she like. Like tears now when it comes to me. I get wrecked by fucking Necro. <laughs> like, you know. Let's be real. I just love the music for this. Oh. Yeah. I love anti-airing, when I can actually work out what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just punching the air now. Oh, 
I might actually, yeah, punch in the knees. Take that. Your knees are mine. I can't think of a good time. I'm sure that'll come in time. Take it in the face. Yep. I'm sure Dudley loves taking it in the face. Wait, that sounds really curvy now. Hey man. <laughs> Don't judge me. Who was that to? That was just like... Oh, I parried! That was deliberate. Shut up! <laughs> that wasn't because I was getting crossed up and was holding back blocks. <laughs> Come on, you bish. I'm gonna retire Chun Li now for everyone to see. Except I'm not. <laughs> oh! You taunted me with that low health, you fucking bitch! Oh! Well, now you are sleeping. Savagery of this woman. Yeah, chap. Chun Li is a chap. Let's talk about Chun Li's chappishness. I'm sure there's some fan art out there talking about that. Oh, yeah, that's quite sure. <laughs> you expected me to fight Sean. I forgot the chip is pretty, pretty big on this game. Oh, Dudley. My one friend. Sean. I'm losing to the bad characters, but like when they give me legit fights, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like wrecking. <laughs> Maybe because I don't I ever fight Sean. <laughs> Fucking Sean. I did try and play Laura on um, Street Fighter Five for a bit. And I was like, oh, cool, a Jiu Jitsu girl. That'll be interesting, and she's got. Really cool character design. And I was just like, oh yeah, yeah that might be a new, new character. I say fucked up jury. <laughs> and I was like, um, I was like, yeah, that would be fun. Then I played her, and I was like, oh, I don't understand. Now I'm not one of those people who like um, rips into her all the time because she's not very high tier and shit. I think she's pretty good fun. It's just that there's a lot of stuff that she needs, like more utility kind of stuff because it's like all she does is like she has a couple like jujitsu is all about throwing people so you need to have like way more she seems to have about roughly the same amount of throw moves perhaps even technically less than alex and you think like come on man she's got to have almost the same or have like more counter throw stuff where if they grab her when she's in a state like Dudley's cross counter state, they just get wrecked. Because that's kind of how jujitsu works. Oh, fucking you in your 20s. Come what the fuck am I doing? That's not coming out. The EXs aren't coming out. I should be. Yeah! Cross counter. Cross counter. I meant to go backwards, that went forwards. I think that was like... I think my controller's fucked. Oh, he didn't get up fast. I lost to Sean. Tell me who just rocked your world. Did Sean rock my world? <laughs> Sean rocks my world. Let's go to Aura. Let's have Aura rock my world. Now I beat Aura last time when I fought him. <laughs> Famous last words. Because <laughs> he does a lot of that shit and you can just anti air a fuck ton of his stuff. Haha, <laughs> just chipped you. Fine. <laughs> no, I ran away. I cried. Oh, he parried the rose! <laughs> that is... Ooh, ooh, spicy boy. <laughs> spicy boy. 
Okay, yeah, you're ready. You're ready. We both have projectiles. I cancelled his projectile with a rose. <laughs> oh. Why isn't Aura in more games? But then again, I never meet an Aura in main. You know, it's like you never really meet people who play Remy. But then Remy was a bit of a like a nothing dial replacement character. Don't shoot me, Remy hardcore stands. <laughs> like, uh, I, w I just don't think anyone plays Remy. Yeah! I kind of auto-corrected, so that was fine. Yeah. Oh, he was ready. As ready as AI can be. Just gonna keep doing this. Oh, that was slow coming out and it fucked me. Bad reads. Bad reads. Bad everything. Oh, come on, man. Give me a free hit. Okay, fine. See, I'm beating Oro. What the hell? So I lost to Necro, beat Chun Li. Lost to Sean, beat Oro. E plus. Yeah, that tells me everything I need to know. I want to fight Makoto. But I've had been having a bad streak with the people on the lower tier, you know, like. The... I always used to like this intro because it's just such a like. <laughs> I have no respect for your culture. Haha! -ha. The British are pricks. <laughs> Run over fucking karate people. Oh, okay, that was a bit of a weird. Oh, she didn't go for it. Hey. She's gonna kill me. She looks like she's gonna kill me. Dudley was quite cheerful, so that was a weird. Just being he's got up his own. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, so these are the only ones you can do training in. Maybe we can learn a brand new character or something. I picked up Urian twice in my entire life. Um, oh, I actually have a timer for training. Okay, um, 
I know how to use Dudley, I'm just bad. Let's relearn the area. So I'm gonna talk as well over this because this is just me doing this. Um, oh yeah, he's a charge. <laughs> Where he's a charge parent. Um, uh, Aegis reflector, metallic sphere. That's legs. That's legs. That's head. Great way to remember it. Okay. Okay. I'm not very good at charge characters. I think a lot of people can do that. Okay, that changes the direction. Three. So yeah, I was talking about selecting characters earlier, I'll get back to that. So I really was introduced into Street Fighter and I just looked at Street Fighter 2's list and went, I'm going to try this guy. And the first guy I picked up was uh, Fei Long, just because you know, I thought he looked cool and then I was like, because he looks like Bruce Lee. And then I was like, okay, I don't understand. I will try DJ. I somehow won with DJ. First time I beat any arcade mode. And then I was like, hey, that guy I thought Sagat was pretty cool looking. I want to try him now. Is he playable? So I don't really look at the like. But the, the, the whole crux of the story is um, I bought these games on the premise of I want to play a fighting game. I don't care that nobody I know plays fighting games with me, you know, or like anybody I know even enjoys playing those video games. All of my friends are like FPS nerds, and like um, now they're nowadays like Total War RTS nerds. So um, I have no one to play with with this kind of stuff. I just really got into it at some point out of my own volition. So when I pick a character, I'm not really paying attention to tier lists or getting good, and that's kind of my whole philosophy with this. Like, I just pick up a game, pick up a character and go, they look pretty cool, or I see the way they move when I fight them and they're the AI or another player, and I go, they look pretty cool, I'm going to check out their moves. And, like, go into training mode and just try and work out what the fuck I'm doing. I'm not really, um... I'm not really um, <clears throat> paying attention to things like always oh, Ken top tier. I just go Ryu and Ken look like the bland copy paste characters that are like the main pro tags. I want to go find something like weird and different, and that means a lot of the time I choose really unviable characters because it's like, oh cool, what's this character about? She looks pretty cool. She knows Taekwondo. Oh, okay. I've never really played a Taekwondo character in uh, Street Fighter, and I used to play a little bit of Far Wrong in um, Tekken. Just because I really like the fast kind of 
characters because it gives me more like ability to respond to things. I used to play a lot of grappling characters, but you you have a lot of problems with like having to react to things more patiently, shall we say? So, um, I mean, let's look at the museum while I'm talking this bullshit. Um, so yeah, like. It would be, it's crazy when you look at Adon to think, you would choose this character based off of his looks, right? I didn't choose him, this one, based off of his looks. I, cho I chose him because I was playing Sagat for a long time, and then I saw, here's a Muay Thai character who's faster, he's more about agility and speed, less about just being strong, so that's why he is, you can see his character design means he's quite muscular, but like, um, that's every Street Fighter character, right? And I just thought that would be, um, <clears throat> that, um, uh, you know, that would be an interesting character. Because I saw the way he moved and I was like, fuck, who is this Adon? He's pinging all over the screen. He looks like fun to play as. And like I saw his supers and I was like, they're pretty good in like um, 4, they were quite cinematic. In comparison to some of the really lame supers Street Fighter 4 got. I picked up Jury just on the premise that she was quite prominent on the box art in Street Fighter 4 because they were really trying to push Jury across because she was a new character and she was one of the best new designs they've had in a few years. And I was just like, why haven't they had a Taekwondo character? So, you know, that was basically my premise to like bothering to pick her up. Um, Dudley, very simple. He was British and he looked like a hilarious kind of like overly British Britishism, what Japanese people think British people are kind of British. And I thought, you know, like gentleman boxer tea enthusiast, he's got a silly little moustache and he's like, oh I say all of the time. I thought that would be quite funny. Um, I'll just play as him and then I found that I actually really enjoyed his boxing style a lot more than I enjoyed Balrog's because I found Balrog was quite difficult. Uh, to play as when I was um, trying originally, because I still found charge moves quite difficult back then. Um, Charlie Nash, I only picked him up in 5 because I had missed Alpha entirely and I was like, oh cool, look at the moves they've gave him. Like he's spinning around and he's doing all of these dives and he's screaming Sonic Scythe and he's like, cooler Guile. And I never really got into Guile, no offense Guile players. Um, so I was like, oh yeah, this guy's cool. Yeah, I'm still not very good at him. Um, but again, he was a lot of like circular, he was a lot of fireball movement. So it was a little easier to learn Guile, basically, with a more expanded thing. I picked up Kami a few times. That was quite good fun. Uh, but like, I never really got into her, like, as in, like, really played her. I, um, Really like Takuma, his whole design, his aesthetic, uh, it's very easy to say, oh yeah, you picked the broken boss character, but like, um, there's something about him of just basically being the evil version of the main characters and having these forbidden moves and all of this shit, and he killed his master, that makes him really cool, and the fact that he's somewhat not, co not really evil evil, he's just obsessed with power evil, so it's very much like the same kind of thing as Virgil, where it's like he's gotten so driven by power that he's really more interested in just proving he's better than anyone, everyone, than uh, actually like being helpful, which is, seems to be a very common character archetype in Japanese video games where it's like, I just got so obsessed with being better than everyone else that I forgot that it was important to like not be a dick. Um, <clears throat> Alex. I always liked Alex. I was one of the few people who was like, oh yeah man, Alex should be the guy. You know, just to mix it up, but you gotta remember, I wasn't there. I was like, what, two? When Street Fighter 3 came out, Third Strike, and they were kind of saying, we might not have Ryu as the main character anymore, because he's in every fucking game. Let's try and make it so like a grapple character takes center stage, and you're like, oh yeah, he's pretty cool looking, and he's got some cool moves. It'd be nice for him to take a different kind of step, but most people I've met have gone, no, you're wrong, and I'm like, okay, fine. To be fair, I'm not an expert in this. 
I never really like Birdie. Let's not talk about Birdie. No offense to Birdie players. Ooh. Oh yeah, he's an alpha, isn't he? Uh, who else? Yeah, Fei Long. I played Fei Long for a very short time. Didn't really ever get into him. Some of these characters, let's be honest, most of these characters I've picked up and played and gone through trials and stuff once or twice just to see what the deal is. I used to play quite a lot of Vega in 5 and this is something that's quite weird because I was never a big Vega fan. Then they kind of simplified his moveset for 5. They made him much more accessible. In 4, he actually had quite a lot of difficult to perform supers if you're not particularly good at the game. So I didn't really play actually never played much Evil Ryu either, even though in 4 he's pretty cool. And I've heard Kage is good in 5, but I never had him when that season came out. So, um, yeah, like, um, a lot of my friends played Evil Ryu, and a lot of guys in Hong Kong played Evil Ryu, because it's like, oh look, he's like basically Ryu with more movesets and he's edgy, so ooh. But like, you know, if I didn't really pick up Ryu, I only played around with Evil Ryu like twice in Trials. Wait, yeah, Evil Ryu in 4 I played in Trials, and played a little bit of him, but yeah, you know. Um, Guy, I did a ca arcade mode with Guy in or once and then played him again. M. Bison, I played a decent amount of M. Bison on 5. I was really getting into him for a bit because he's quite an interesting playstyle, but like, mm, I haven't been playing for very long. Ken, played Ken a few times. Everyone's played Ken a few times. I tried to get into Makoto because I think Makoto is a strong character design, a really interesting, like, slow moving character which balances out my rush, rush, rush down spammy bullshit characters which I always play as. And, um, it made me, you know, think I have to sit down and think how to play now, like a proper proper fighting game player. Um, I might get into her again for free. Uh, I never really picked her up in 3. I picked her up in 4. She was good fun. Uh, Rolento, I actually played a weird amount of Rolento in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. <laughs> For some reason I decided to main Rolento, mostly because my friend was like a Zongief main or something, and for some reason, I get, am I right? No, they're not like, oh no, it was a case of like, uh, he said Rolento looked cool and he would prefer me to play that instead of Rufus, because Rufus is the official tag team partner in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and the less said about Rufus the better, I was not going to play Rufus. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, I always wanted to kind of try out Remy, but, like, he's just, like, just out of curiosity, he's such a curio of a character, he's a one-and-done, never mentioned again, not even relevant, really, to the main plot, kind of nothing character that they then did nothing with, because he just didn't seem popular, he was like he was there to replace a Sonic Boom character, like, he was there to kind of, like, Not be new Guile, but kind of have the move set that's similar to Guile and Charlie. And um, everyone was just like, "Yeah, but this isn't. I, I don't care." And it was like, "Yeah, okay, fair enough." Like, um, playing him as Dudley is a pain in the ass um, because he just keeps filling the screen with sonic booms, and then you, if you get near him, he flip kicks you backwards and then does it again. So it's like, you know, it's the same shit as Guile. Really, it's just like. Learn not to approach the crouching Remy, if it is even a charge move for him. Cigar, yeah, I like Cigar. Uh, I like Cigar a lot. I really wanted to get good at Cigar. I just, the saying kind of always stopped me from getting really good with Cigar. I don't know, I don't know why. I just, I've never played Soda. I play T-Hawk. <laughs> oh yeah, I play T-Hawk. For a very short period of time. That was good fun. He's hilarious. Um, he's just like goofier Zongief with like completely different tools and stuff, but like goofy gra grapple character that's just like, why is this a character? Um, great fun. I love the move where he spins his arm around and slams you into the ground. He's just such a, like, Urian now. Urian. 
I always wanted to like Urian. I always wanted to be good at Urian. I really got into trying to learn charge move characters for Urian and for half of Alex's move set. And I was sat there like, I will learn how to play Urian. It's just like charge moves, they just don't click in my brain the way they click. I can't work out how to combo into them because it's like, oh, I've got to have them charging whilst doing other things. And it just kind of my brain doesn't like, I don't like multitasking. Yeah, like I said, I've played a bit of Vega before. Yang and Yun, I actually did quite a little, uh, a little bit of training and like fighting the AI in like four. They're actually good fun. I think I played more Yang than Yun, but like I liked Yun probably more than Yang. They're both quite good. Um, like you need my opinion on this shit, but like they're just. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, the thing about Street Fighter, um, like my friend used to play Zongief all the time, so I learned how to play Zongief to count Zongief things, and I'm still shit at fighting Zongiefs to this day. I've got like PTSD dealing with my friend Mike's Zongief, because he would just be like, I'm coming to get you, and he would just keep throwing you and throwing you, and you'd be like, uh, uh, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, there's something about, like, I really like Street Fighter, I really like the characters, their designs and stuff, but I've never really settled on this character. This is the character, and every time I feel like I am settling, I remember there's like five, ten other characters that I like, which is like its blessing and its curse, because I never have a standard main. So every time a new game comes out, and they don't have, and like, when Street Fighter V came out, it didn't have, in Season 1, Jury, Akuma, Sagat, Adon, Dudley, or an equivalent, really, that I liked, because Balrog was quite late as well, if I remember correctly. And I was having to learn Charlie and Cammy for the first time, really, and even picked up Birdie and stuff, and tried to do Chun-Li, and I was having, being forced when Street Fighter V came out with those first characters to learn characters that never really appealed to me. So, um, yeah, that's kind of why I, like, something about Tekken, I just kind of gravitated towards King as my main for Tekken, and then Huarong as my secondary main in Tekken. And, like, in Tekken 7, they have a few other more interesting characters as well um, that are quite new that I'm like, oh, they're kind of fun, but, like, I'm not very good with them, like Katarina and stuff. And, um... say yeah like you're almost always guaranteed that king is going to be in the game i don't think there's game check please blow me out in comments if there is in fact somebody there's some tekken where there is not king playable or far wrong or uh his master beck um <laughs> playable so like um i always know that i have that guy, even though that's, like, I'm so casual, it doesn't fucking matter, it's like, oh, I need my main, it's like, like, come on, at the end of the day, I fucking suck, but, like, you know, that's probably putting me off of, like, getting really into it, because every time a new game comes out for Street Fighter, I'm a bit like, so where's any of the characters I, like, kind of even mildly know, and a lot of the time they're not there, straight away, because I'm not, like, Ryu, Ken, chun mains or something, or Kami mains. Um, or Dolson and Zongier. So anyway, um, I spoke for about 15 minutes about Street Fighter characters and my preference. <laughs> I don't know why. I was longer than me playing the game. But yeah, that's, I guess, the end for the first episode of me fucking up. Stay tuned. I may fuck up either Tekken. DMC5, just the bloody palace, just doing runs, or uh, whatever else I feel like playing. Hey, I might even play Crash Team Racing. I'm just doing shit as I go. I'm bored, <laughs> so I'm just doing this for fun. Um, Please don't bother to like, comment, or subscribe because you will be disappointed if there's another six year period of me doing fuck all.
because yeah, it's kind of not going well <laughs> with my uh, upload level. I'm gonna shut up now. Uh, peace.